What is up, Wild Squad? Hope you're all doing well. In today's video, I've got a very exciting one for y'all. I've been working on this. There's a lot of data that goes into this. It is a team of the week coin making method that's going to be guaranteed pretty much every single day, every single week. All you have to do is go and input some of the numbers yourself. And I'm going to update this. I'm probably going to make an update video for this every single week so we can go through and see some of the best values. Of course, before we get into all that, though, let's hear a quick word from our sponsor. Boys, if you're looking to add that brand new shiny player to your team in Madden, don't gamble with packs. Hit up Red Zone Coins for cheap, fast, reliable coins to help build your team. Use code WAS to get 20% off your order. All right, and if you want to build your team up, become a millionaire, all that good stuff, be sure to subscribe with the noti bell on because that's a lot of what we talk about on this channel. So go ahead and do that. So, okay, let's jump into this spreadsheet. This is, I put a lot of work into all this. This is every single team of the week. These are the legend heroes, the offensive and the defensive hero from week one all the way to week 12. I will be adding on week 13 when they're in the store here. Donovan McNabb and Glover Quinn, they're going to be out coming out later today. So check back later for those guys. They're probably not going to be super profitable. I mean, they might be. It just kind of depends on the prices. But really what this list is guys this is super valuable and the link is down below i'm going to put it up towards the top of the description usually it's kind of buried down there somewhere it's the madden 21 ultimate uh, coin making spreadsheet it's usually buried down there anyway but i'll put it towards the top so it's easy to find all this is guys so it goes through every single person it's got right here if you click on each cell you can see the numbers this is very very important i'm going to walk you all through this so for arian foster here for example for week one you've got twenty seven thousand nine hundred and ninety. that number was found by the thirty thousand plus one thousand one hundred times 0.9 now the thirty thousand is what his actual team of the week card sells for i think it was an 89 overall and then the 1100 is his power up so his power up is not worth a lot and then the 0.9 is the 10 percent tax so this is what you would get if you would complete the set and sell arian foster's card and his power this is what you would get after selling back and these prices are based off of mutt head so that's why you always want to go and check the prices before you go and do this for yourself now cost to complete the set that is the price of all of these cards put together these two russell wilson team of the weeks the feelings the josh jacobs you add all these up there's no tax taken into account in all these and that is this price so then i made this red or i made it green depending on whether it was profitable or not and then over here on the right side it just gives you the net gain or the net loss obviously if it's red it's a loss green is a gain so the green ones are the ones you want to go for so the best ones i kind of went through and manually highlighted these ones the darker green ones are the ones that are like twenty thousand. i think i did twenty thousand plus profit or more and so you can kind of go over here and see this is actually before i added this on uh, you can see the ones that are probably the ones that you're going to want to do that are a good bit of profit. There are some that are close to 30000 And here's the thing, guys. This price right here, the cost to complete the set, this can be a lot lower if you snipe these cards. So we're going to go take a look at here in just a minute. I did the OC Umin, I don't know how to say his name, OC Umin Yora uh, set. So I actually bought Bradley Chubb, Kendall Fuller, and Alex Singleton. We'll go look at how much I bought all those guys for. I sniped them for less than their 85000 uh price point here. Now, the, the main thing to take away from this, guys, is these numbers are all in here, and they're all very detailed, and they're all taken off of mutt head which means the prices are going to be changing all the time okay you could be looking at this the moment this video comes out you could be looking at it two days from now this spreadsheet is still going to be relevant the numbers just might be a little bit different so you always have to go and find stuff on your own you always have to go and make sure like if you're going to do the oc set which i'm going to take a look at here and you can go do if you want so looking at the numbers here if you click on this cell you can see that his main card is selling for forty five thousand nine hundred when i looked it up and then his power up the reason he was so valuable his power up is going for eighty thousand and then of course the tax now the kind of the general rule for these guys that i noticed if their power up was going for a good bit then it was going to be profitable like sean alexander's the one uh right down here rodney harrison his power up's going for a good little bit tracy porter the same way eighty four thousand. so that is definitely something you're always going to want to check before you go and do that but like i said we went ahead and we did the oc set and if y'all have any questions about the spreadsheet feel free to leave them down below because this is a super viable spreadsheet like i said i'm going to put week 13 on here and i'm going to update this once a week we're going to come out with this video uh, we're going to talk about the best players to do but the best players are these ones in dark green oc we already talked about some of them uh james harrison todd heap is a good one right now Antro roll greg jennings and demarcus Ware. the way that i determined whether they were very profitable or not i just did twenty thousand coins or plus more profit okay and that's after tax always keep that into account and that is without sniping so you might be able to snipe some of these players that you need for a lot cheaper and that would make it even more profitable so let's go ahead and we'll jump over to the actual madden and over here let me show you how i determine whether a set is going to be profitable or not all you have to do is you have to go to the auction house and so we've already got oc on there uh, we're going to go by program we're going to go by team of the week actually we don't want to do that because we want to look at his power up as well and his power up is not a team of the week card technically so we're just going to put in his name a little bit there so this is going to be a good illustration because i made that spreadsheet about an hour before before I made this video, the prices have already changed. On the spreadsheet, OC was selling for 45,900. Right now, I could sell him for about 42, probably 44,000. So a little bit different there on his 90 overall card. And then his power up here is for 70,000. 
on here it was going for 80,000. So a little bit different there, obviously about 12,000 coins less. And then just before I fired up this video, I did notice somebody just put this power up on here. This was the only power up on here. So if this was the only power up, then you could basically just undercut him and you would have the lowest power up if somebody wanted to go buy. I don't know why this guy undercut him by 47,000 coins, uh, but that's just something you have to go take a look at. Just like what I'm saying, you want to make sure it's worth it before you go start sniping these cards. So now I know if I complete this set, I can sell OZ for at least 42,000 and his power up for 70,000. After tax and everything, that's going to be 100,000 coins. And our cost over here to snipe all these cards was 85,000. Again, that was based off of my head. Now to save a little bit of time, I went ahead and sniped all of these cards. Uh, the two Bradley Chubbs, three Kendall Fullers, five Alex Singletons. And again, you can go find all of those on my spreadsheet over there. They're all listed out who you need, all that stuff. Or you can just go and look at them at the sets in the game. But if you're only on mobile, uh, then this is going to be a good reference for you. I'm like almost, I'm like 99% sure that they are all accurate. The cards you need, of course, if you don't, you know, trust me, you can always go and check it. But I'm pretty sure all the cards are accurate on there. So jumping on over to the set here, this is where you're really going to make your money more on these sets. You can already tell from the spreadsheet which ones are going to be potentially the most profitable you can see the ones that are 20,000 coins plus profitable and all that and again you want to snipe these cards for cheaper than what mutthead is showing on this spreadsheet whatever you show on there that's going to be your minimum because you want to make at least 20 to 25,000 coins profit off of this just to make it worth it so the two bradley chubs i was able to snipe for just under 17,000 they were about 17,100 on the spreadsheet the kindle fullers i got for just under 10,000 i believe they were 10,200 and then i got a couple of really good snipes on this alex singleton so he was on the spreadsheet for 4,100 coins i actually got two of them for under 2,000 coins coins and then two of them were in like the 3500 range and then one was about 4,000. so i definitely saved myself a couple thousand coins just by sniping these cards and i actually had an extra bradley chubb so i didn't even know that looks like i didn't have to snipe one of those guys but that's okay we're gonna put him into the team standouts that are coming soon hopefully i'm hoping the team standouts takes team of the week guys it's a bit of a risky investment but that is for another video that i've talked about and so we're putting all of these guys in we sniped all these guys for good prices and our total after sniping all these cards was about 78,200 coins and again we just got this oc we just went and checked we know after we get him and we sell everything for tax, we're gonna get about 100,000 coins. So we're gonna profit about 22,000 coins off of like an 80,000 coin investment. And it didn't take long at all for me to go and snipe those cards. It's pretty easy to do. I will say that the Alex Singleton, when I was sniping them, there were only three on the auction house originally. So I went and sniped those three. Luckily, they were all pretty good prices. And I went back like two minutes later and there were like eight more on the auction house. So if you're missing some of these, uh, let's, let's go look right now, Alex Singleton. Let's see how many he has on the auction house. Uh, there's only three right now, but by the time y'all come and do this, you know, if there aren't a lot, just always come back. People are always ripping packs and putting cards up on the auction house. So go and check the availability of the cards before you start completing the set, just to make sure there's like none on the auction house, because then you might be out of luck at that point. They eventually will go on the auction house, but you don't want them to be in high demand. If someone's going to put an Alex Singleton up on the auction house and they see that there's none, they might just be a jerk and put them up for 40,000 coins or something like that. So just always go and check the availability, check the prices, all that good stuff. But guys, I really think this could be a phenomenal method this spreadsheet kind of just gives you a breakdown of who the best possible sets to complete are uh, again 20,000 30,000 coins is kind of the threshold that I'm looking for right there and if you're able to snipe some of these cards and maybe a power up y'all see that, that OC there were only two power ups on the auction house so if that cheaper one sells for like 80,000 coins. The only other one on the auction house was like 130, 140,000 coins. So I can end up profiting like an extra 30 or 40,000 coins off of this in addition to the 20,000 if I get lucky there. So that's stuff you just wanna go look for. And again, use this spreadsheet, uh, go and check prices on the auction house. I really think this is gonna be a great method. You can do this all the time. If y'all do wanna make a copy of the spreadsheet, you can just go to file, make a copy. You can't edit this copy just because I can't let people go in there and change numbers and all that stuff. But if you do that, you can definitely uh, adjust it throughout the week. And I'm gonna to make an updated video every single week going on the best ones that you can look, go after right now and for those of you all that stuck around let's do a 100,000 coin giveaway we know that team standouts are coming i believe tomorrow on wednesday so give me your pick on who whichever nfl team you root for who you think your team is going to get again give, give me a way to contact you and of course be subscribed and like the video if you want to be entered into the giveaway but thank y'all so much for watching y'all the mvps and as always i will see y'all in the next one